I wanted to just get on here to um, say a prayer, particularly for anyone who has a heavy heart. Now, you could be heavy hearted for a, a number of reasons. You could be heavy hearted because you just lost somebody that was very near and dear to your heart, whether that be to a, a, a death or a, a divorce or a, a friendship or even a family member that you were close to where um, you're just not close anymore for whatever reason. Maybe there's a uh, a grudge, uh, bridges have been burned, whatever it is, it's caused you to have a he heavy heart. So I just want to lift you up today in prayer. And we're going to believe in God for mighty miracles um, to take that, just lift that heaviness um, that's waiting down your heart right right off of your chest today in Jesus' name. So Father, in the name of Jesus, Father God, I just Lift up anybody right now with a heavy heart. And I say, Lord, have your way in their life. I pray that you would do a mighty work in their life, Lord. I pray that you would give them the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, Lord. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That you would just lift that weight, that weight, whether it's anxiety, whether it's restlessness, whether it's depression, whether it's anguish, whether it's grief, whether it's hopelessness, no matter what it is, Lord, I pray that you would just lift that weight, Lord, to you be all the glory. I just pray that you would give them freedom today because whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And where two or three are gathered, Lord, you say there you are in the midst. So I believe that you are in the midst of us right now and you're performing mighty miracles. So I just pray that that veil of depression would be torn away right now that that veil of depression that that heaviness that weight that just follows them around lord that you would just give them relief today you you would just take that that heavy heartedness right off of their chest lord let them feel it leave give them relief today relief in jesus name i pray that you would just comfort them comfort them in their distress lord comfort them give them peace peace like a river peace like an ever flowing stream peace that makes no earthly sense peace that surpasses all understanding peace just overtake their vessel right now just overtake them just fill up the temple right now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet i declare peace 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 in jesus name over you right now in the name of Jesus, nothing but peace, peace, and the comfort, the comfort that comes from the great comforter himself. There is no greater comfort on the earth than the comfort of Jesus Christ, than the comfort of the Lord. So I just pray that that comfort would just wrap around you right now like a hug straight from heaven. I pray that that comfort would just envelop you right now like a blanket fresh out of the dryer and that you would feel that warmth and you would feel that love and you would feel that peace and you would feel that, that comfort and you would feel that hope rushing back into your heart especially for anybody who feels like they're just in a hopeless place where where nothing good exists where they don't see any light at the end of the tunnel they don't see how this this situation could improve anytime soon actually they just see it getting progressively worse lord I pray that you would impart to them hope right now. Let hope rise up in their hearts. Give them reasons to hope again, Father. And I thank you in the name of Jesus. I consider it done. I also want to pray for anybody who is just experiencing heavy heartedness from losing somebody that was near and dear to their heart. I know the pain of grief and loss, and I know how much of a beast it can be. I, I know that it can come in waves. I know that just when you think that you've healed from it and you're getting better that something will trigger that sadness all over again and you'll break out in tears at the grocery store well i would just pray right now that god would do a mighty work on your heart that he would do a mighty work on your heart to heal you of the trauma of grief and loss i pray that he would do a mighty work on your soul as well to heal you from the the affliction of losing somebody that was near and dear to you and and continuing on your life without that person so i just pray um that where there has been grief and loss and where you feel all alone and where you are just devastated by what has just happened. I pray that the Lord would just 
move in on your heart right now to 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 comfort you i pray that you would have um laughter and smiles in between your tears i pray that he would send a network of godly fellowship in your direction just a network of loving support your way to to walk you through i mean the lord never leaves or forsakes us and he's the greatest comforter there is and he is the best company you could ever have um but we also we need fellowship and so i just pray that he would lead you to the right church and that you would just be surrounded by love in this season in jesus name we pray amen